Hi, my name is Etienne. I'm from the University of Wollongong in Australia, where I'm a researcher <coughs> with Dr. Thomas Holderness. I direct a project called Peta Jakarta. Peta means uh, map in Bahasa Indonesian. This, part, this uh, project is a collaboration between the Smart Infrastructure Facility, uh, the Jakarta Emergency Management Agency, and Twitter. The idea of Peta Jakarta is pretty simple. We're trying to bring together two trajectories in the urban environment to leverage them for greater urban resilience. The first trajectory is something that probably all of you have in your pocket. Uh, today we call it a mobile phone, but this level of computation in the 1980s was called a supercomputer. Uh, most of you probably have your supercomputers networked to other supercomputers that are also mobile through something that we call social media. The idea of Pay to Jakarta is to simply bring the spatial information from your mobile device through a social media network to allow for greater decision making in emergency contexts. We try to develop tools that are useful in this circle because half of the world's population lives inside of it. Not only does half of the world's population live inside of it, but in fact, there are 20 megacities within this circle with populations over 8 million. Funny enough, of those 20 megacities, 14 of them sit on river deltas, and 18 of them have experienced severe flooding in the last decade. With a total population officially of nearly 300 million residents, the goal of our research is to develop open source software that can help residents share critical information in megacities as a form of urban resilience. We started in Jakarta because Jakarta has the highest rate of urbanization in the world. As you can see from these satellite images, as the green urban hardscape explodes into the red vegetation, in the last 50 years, Jakarta has seen an absolutely unprecedented rate of urban growth. That growth has swallowed infrastructure that was previously on the periphery of the city. Here you can see the Mangarai Lock, which you may see on your tour tomorrow, where the main flood canal of Jakarta sits beneath the main train station of Jakarta above a key east-west thoroughfare. It's these kinds of infrastructure interdependencies that require new forms of research and civic co-management. You may recognize the Welcome Monument. This is an image from January 2013, uh, when a fairly severe flood in the Central Business District, which was caused by infrastructure failure. And what's important to understand about that is that no matter how much computation you can have, this event could not be predicted with a predictive flood model. In fact, flood modeling in Jakarta doesn't work. What we require is real-time, validated, accurate information shared by citizens and governments to increase resilience, improve safety, and response. Conveniently, Jakarta has the highest rate of Twitter users in the world. Thank you to all of you tweeting about it. I can see you. In fact, Jakartans love one thing in particular, which is taking selfies in the flood, <laughs> which is incredibly convenient for us because what human beings are in that selfie is a scale model telling us how deep the water is. But we don't just listen passively like data mining projects to try to hear what's going on in, in, in the Twitter sphere. We use a technique called big crowdsourcing where we connect to the Twitter API and anytime we hear any of you in Jakarta talking about flooding, we send you a programmatic invitation asking you to participate in community flood mapping. This, this allows us to reach tens of thousands of users every day and in order to explain the project, not only do we send a reply to the tweet, but we also embed a video message explaining how to participate.
there is a new tool in Jakarta bringing together mobile mapping and local flood information. This community flood map is available anywhere, alerting you to water impasses in real time to help you navigate the city. We know that the citizens of Jakarta have the best information on flooding conditions. You are already tweeting each other, helping friends and family avoid hazards around the city. Peta Jakarta uses this on-the-ground information to give you a comprehensive map of the flood conditions. When you see a flood, tweet Banjir at Peta Jakarta and your report will appear on the map, alerting the community to the flood. Remember to turn on your phone's geolocation so we can pinpoint the report. The more people use Peta Jakarta, the better the map will be. Working together, we can help everyone bypass flooded areas, saving time and avoiding danger. Visit petajakarta.org to get started. We sent that video to tens of thousands of Jakarta residents this year. And as you can see from this one example reply, we detected uh, this user talking about flooding. We sent the response with the video embedded. And what do we receive back? A photo, height information, district area, area of the city, all of that allowing us to process information incredibly quickly alongside the emergency management agency to orient response. We received a whole variety of replies, including the one I just showed you, other requests for help. And in order to expedite that response, we produced those reports cartographically. One on your mobile device, so you can tell where you are in the city and see relevant reports around you and the other at an aggregated level so that the government can see where hot spots are occurring. You can see in this example of a screenshot from a desktop view, uh, areas in the north, particularly at this point, very active. By integrating this with the existing information ecosystem of the Jakarta Emergency Management Agency, we helped expedite response and increase uh, the ability of the government to act effectively, that is, routing around problems, routing around flooded areas, and determining the most effective course of action. Of course, the most important resource in a disaster situation is information, both for citizens who need to know how to get around a situation to find out what's happening, and for governments who are trying to respond to it. In the next decade, it's predicted that one billion new users will come online by way of mobile devices. Our project is therefore quite simple. How do we provide tools for the next one billion users on the internet to cooperate and work together to reduce disaster risk and effectively respond to climate change. It's a very simple idea. Take the supercomputer in your pocket, link it to the other supercomputers that you know, and help each other adapt to extreme weather events that result from climate change. We call this idea geosocial intelligence because it takes geospatial information, puts it through a social media platform, and allows us to all have greater livability. We hope you'll hear more about this idea in your city in the coming years. If you'd like to read more about Peta Jakarta, please check out petajakarta.org and read our white paper that was just released today. Thanks very much.